Hey guys, Chesty Puller here with a very quick video on the fastest, smartest, easiest way to farm masteries in Raid Shadow Legends. The only way faster is to buy them with gems, but for farming, this is the best way to do it. You'll notice I have one farmer and one um, person that I'm trying to get my masteries on. Rio Bone Spear. My farmer is Skull Crown. There's about 20 champions that I have that can solo um, Minotaur, but Skull Crown is one of the faster ones, so I just use her. Uh, it'll look like, you know, it gets pretty close sometimes, but Skull Crown has the ability to uh, be unkillable, so it's never failed. No matter who I have in here, this has never failed. Um, even though sometimes it looks like it's getting close, it, it has never failed. You could uh, maybe use somebody else. There are so many that can uh, farm uh, Minotaur's Labyrinth. But why only put one person in when you're farming? Here's why. Riho is not level 60 yet. So every time I attack um, the Minotaur, I get XP. If I have five champions in here, that XP is spread out over all five champions and it is wasted. Also, I get 7,420 silver each time. So I'm farming silver, silver, I'm farming masteries, and I'm getting XP for one of my champions. The maximum amount of XP. The only way I could get more XP is if I was to solo with Riho. Now Riho may be able to solo this, but without her masteries completed, it might be difficult. Whoever you're using um, should have um, War Master on. You know that will that will help. Uh, my Skull Crown has War Master on, so that's a help. My Riho doesn't have uh, War Master on, and as a matter of fact, you know her uh, masteries are not yet done. So, three things you can accomplish by doing it this way. You get silver, and in this case I'm in a CVC as well, and I'm also getting CVC uh, 80 uh, points every few minutes. So that's also not a bad deal. Um, but soon, approximately around the time that Riho reaches 60, her masteries will be done. Here's what I found. When your um, champion gets to around 50, if you do this, they'll be around 60 when their uh, masteries are done. This will take approximately 2,000 energy to do this. So it seems like a big waste. However, if you do this with five champions who are all maxed out, you are wasting XP. If you do this with uh, five champions who all need masteries, you can't control where the masteries go and therefore it takes forever. This way, your masteries are done overnight. Seriously, you can do this overnight if you use blue stacks or some other kind of auto clicker. Just put 2000 energy in there and you wake up the next day and it's done. So, um, um, there's a little bit of lag going on right now. It won't click, but um, that's probably because I'm taking the video. Anyway, you can see that I'm not on the offensive tree with Riho, so it would make it more difficult. You really do, for your farmer, you need um, to be on the offensive tree with War Master. It's very helpful. Um, so, in the morning, I'm going to uh, set this up and use my auto uh, battles for this, and I should be done in the morning. And uh, I hope this uh, hope this video was helpful. And I hope you understand why 
just doing it this way, which doesn't make much sense at first. It kind of looks like, oh, you're being wasteful. Actually, this is the fastest way to do it because um, I used to do it five champions at once and I would usually try to have a couple of champions in here that would need XP. Now if you had five champions that all needed XP and let's say you're just starting out the game and all five of those champions need masteries also then sure put all five of them in get XP and get masteries for all of your champions it just takes a lot longer um, but in that case you would be spreading out uh, not only the uh, the masteries but you'd also be spreading out the XP for the uh, um, progression of your champions level so uh, I'm pretty sure I started Riho out at 50 in here and now she's a 58 soon to be a 60 Again, I uh, hope this was helpful, guys. Have a good one out there. Good luck.